What is something you still can't believe you've done? Stood at the top of the Eiffel Tower. I have a terrible fear of heights. If you had the chance and refused, you would probably have regret that for the rest of your life. Good on you for conquering your fear. Traveled by myself to America when I was fresh out of high school. I live in South Africa. So it was a real experience for me, broadened a lot of my perspectives. I also did it out of my own. I had minimal help from family, were low to mid class, so it was all the more rewarding. Getting a degree in psychology, at the ripe age of 55. Over the year, I've managed to make strides in overcoming my depression and social anxiety. Get a college degree, even if it really hasn't afforded me any opportunities. Getting the education component done is a major part of the battle. Even if it doesn't land you in your ideal job environment, a degree has encouraged you to be a critical thinker and always asking questions instead of accepting for what is. Best wishes. Thanks. That's pretty much how I see it. College taught me a bunch of other skills other than what I was there for, and also sharpened skills that I had but weren't honed. Slept with a few people I was attracted to, in like a solid 3, maybe a 3 to you. But you could be a 10 to them. Averages to 6. 5 which is pretty good. Pass mathematics after failing 2 years. I have dyscalculia so doing maths was a struggle for me. Congrats. You didn't give up. And that's what matters. Punched a cop. Cold been behind bars my whole life. How the H did you get away with it? We have a youth officer that always helped my group out and he convinced him not to press charges cause I only hit him once after he grabbed me and slammed me into a car for arguing with him. Had a baby. It still catches me by surprise sometimes that I really have a child and that I made her. This is exactly what I was going to write. Sometimes I look at my son and have this moment of, wow you're a real human person that I made inside my body. Same. I have a daughter, and I remember reading the week to week updates while I was pregnant. Around 20 weeks it read that, if the fetus is a girl, that was the week her reproductive system, eggs and all, would be fully developed. So in addition to carrying my daughter, my potential grandchildren were also inside of me. Trippy F. Wrote a song. I've always wanted to do that, but it seems hard, like what part goes where etc. I, a stranger, gave Richard Dean Anderson an idea for his daughter's 16th birthday that he actually loved and used. Don't thank me. Thank the moon's gravitational pull. Apostrophe. Survived an active combat zone. Three times. Fortnite. Got lost in East Berlin close to midnight. That would not have gone well to overstay a day visa. Went to prison. Had my butthole looked at. 10 tenths world and do it again. My ex-wife. The entire relationship. I mean. I feel that way about a few relationships. Sustained a compound fracture in open water to my right leg. Got myself to shore. To seek medical attention. How did you break your leg in open water? I think the real question is. What did you jump off of while drunk trying to impress your friends? A collection of related things. Basically imposter syndrome. I was a troubled kid. Drugs. Suspended slash expelled from school multiple times. Delinquency. On probation. A probation officer advocated for me with the school. Got me into advanced classes. My aptitude was a lot higher than my achievement. I wasn't wise enough to recognize my own problems. Anxiety. And being bored at school. I did better then. Long story short. I became a social worker and later a lawyer for child abuse slash neglect matters. At each of those jobs. I think especially the way people interact with me as a lawyer. Part of me is still that street kid. That kid that guidance counselors told I shouldn't waste your time trying to go to college. They won't put up with your behavior there. Apostrophe. 12 years later. I'm in charge of the main federally funding for courts and attorneys in that area. It still feels like a dream sometimes. Like, I really notice every time people introduce me that way on a national conference call, or whatever. I'm totally proud of myself, but I'm not writing this to be bragging. Seriously, I put on a suit and tie and still feel like they are gonna say, 
What are you doing in here you scruffy skateboarder? Apostrophe. Actually went swimming with sharks. In a cage off the side of the boat. Saw the beast appear out of the dark below and swim by. Checking us out with its large black eye. Both of us. Just curious. Got freaked out by my own snorkel BC I forgot it was there. Lol. Where? This is one of my top bucket list things, but I have no idea how to go about it. Seal Island. Off the coast of Cape Town in South Africa. There's a couple little companies with boats that'll take you out. Set me back about 150 US dollars if I recall. At age 39 I started my first gay relationship. At age 40. We are still together, and I'm in the best relationship of my life. Back in 2008. Somehow I went from couch bum to political consultant for 4 years. Okay how? At the college church group. Signed this petition. Why? Apostrophe. Cause I'll make money. Okay. Found out how much he made, and how crazy the turnover is at that job. Started doing that, and then I started psing my way into convincing people I knew what I was talking about. Survived a lot of things that I hope nobody else ever has to go through. Said yes when my best friend asked to date in secret. We are secretly girlfriends now, because our parents are homophobic. Overcame drug addiction. The amount of times I should have been dead or imprisoned is crazy. And now I'm just thankful to be here. Trying to type this out on my phone with a little kid yelling Hulk smash in my face. Didn't think I would get the chance to be grateful for something that would otherwise seem trivial. Moved from Canada to the EU to meet with a guy I meet online and only met one Cyril. We have now been together for almost 20 years. Happily married too. This was when online relationships were unheard of or had PR player telling me I would get kill. Edition. I'm not so sure I would have it in me to do that now. Bow. However. Uh. So yeah very glad I did this. It's. Did surgery on a grape. Were the results appealing? Raisin the bar with that bun. With. Got the praise of a writer I admire. They found my stuff all on their own and said it was really good and love everything I've written. It's been years now and I'm still riding that high. Sneak out with my best friend at age 13 out from a window onto a slanted slippery roof, just so we could got to the park dance and look at stars. Made it this far. Wrote a children's book. Got an internet predator sent to prison. Backflipped. You won't believe what happened next. I broke my nose. Given my background of neglect slash trauma, staying alive and sober. Cruise the Galapagos. Saw an active volcano. Penguins on the equator. Swam with sharks. Had blue-footed boobas walk up to me. Sat with giant tortoises. Just an unreal experience all around. Found the love of my life. Got pulled on stage and played guitar in front of at least 10k people with the band I listened to for over 6 years at that time and they were the starting point of the development of my music taste. <laughs> Went to 80 countries. When I was around 20, I lived near Harvard, but wasn't a student there. Saw a sign one day that students could learn to use a telescope on top of the science building. I had to climb 10 to 12 flights of stairs to get there, because the elevator had a security guard checking it. Spent over an hour looking through the telescope with a bunch of Harvard students. Jumped off a 60 foot cliff into a lake. Never again. Made over 130k in one year. 95k of it being what was technically my side gig. Yes or legally. Climbed Mount. Fuji. It actually didn't seem that daunting when I was standing at the fifth station looking up at it. Felt a bit more daunting near the top, but I got up there. The descent was one of the worst ducking things I've ever done in my life. I've never been able to look at Fuji since without feeling mystified at how the hell I actually managed to get up there. Stayed out of jail. Fell in love with a co-worker. I fell in love with a co-worker. We've been married for 18 years now. Are you still cowalkers? Faked my college graduation. Asked a girl out. She said yes. And dumped me later for a girl. George Costanza. Became a tattoo artist. It's wild. I never got to get a job again. Always wanted to be a rapper. Always dreamed of financial freedom. And now that I'm so much closer to it. 
It's just unbelievable. Was either military for 4 years, was a part of, and witnessed some crazy stuff. Some of it classified. Feels like a different person did that. Like I was watching it happen to someone else. Had a second child. My first was 8 years old, when my youngest was born. Two miscarriages in between. I never thought I'd have another living baby. My youngest was born 2 months early and only weighed 3 pounds. But she made it, and is alive and well today. Heck yeah. I picked up a lost baby bird from the road as I was heading out for a walk, and placed it on the gram's butt at the side hoping it would be safer there, and then when I arrived back the whole side of the road had been cut by a ride on mower. Got into a top college a year early. Met a guy I dated in math CL but in college. Math class. Fractured my skull. Actually performed a song I wrote in front of my teachers. Bungie jumped off a train trestle using the equipment of a sort of sketch guy. I was 19. Away at Christian College, and bored being good. I'm super glad I tried it, but at 49 now. Super surprised I lived. Move randomly from Minnesota to San Diego in my early 20s. Worked out nicely though. Met and married my wife, and got a career. I wrote 43 novels, and was offered a job by the CIA. Were these novels by chance about spies or wizards or magical islands? Yesterday I replaced two toilets on my own. Watched see Jana drill on Yacht of the day before 4 guidance then did it. I thought I was going to mess up but no hiccups. After spending over a quarter century being a wimpy loser and pretty overweight, I got in really good shape, joined the army, and passed the selection course for an elite unit. Still can't believe that scared kid I once was, was able to pull all this off. I still find it crazy to believe I've performed at the hugely iconic Stephen Joseph Theatre. I'm not even a particularly good actor either, which makes it all the more bizarre. But I've actually performed on the famous theatre in the round stage that the playwright Alan Akeburn devised for the plays he used to do at the library before they got what used to be an Odeon. How I came about to do it was, because I used to be a part of a youth disabled theatre group that was run at the SJT. And we'd put performances on that people would go to watch. Some were done at the Stephen Joseph Theatre itself. And some were done at other locations across North Yorkshire. Performing on the iconic SJT Theatre in the round stages, and always will be one of my absolute favourite memories. As somebody with asthma. Senior year to a days nearly pushed me past my limit. The first two weeks were always conditioning. And we had many people quit during caterpillar sprints. Gained consciousness. Went on a dryer run. That is. Got inside an industrial clothes dryer. Someone set it to air. And I tumbled a bit. Got in a relationship with a girl. That I thought. Had no chance with. Because I moved away from where she lived. Walked in on my mom. Joined the military lol. That I actually managed to find an occupation I love. To move out at the age of 16 and managed to live by myself. Also. That I was eager enough to go back to school to get an even better degree. While I keep working. And more on the fun side. That I actually bought an adult toy and had it shipped to my parents place. Sold my used underwear to a stranger. The stuff I have fixed after all sorts of professionals look it over and can't figure out the issues. Walking in like some sort of wizard, when the reality is I just talk to machines much better than people. An underwear model. Genuinely don't know how I managed to pull it off. Do you get more calls if you pull it off? Not what I meant, but... I've given birth to two very large children. My first. 10 pounds. Almost killed me. Bled out. I've also been awake during kidney surgery. Had to hold my breath during the CTs they gave me during. That shit hurt too. Awake. During kidney surgery? How? And why would they do that to you? The radiologist went through a vein my right leg. Obviously I was on some strong painkillers. They chemically sealed off the arteries feeding my tumor. I had to hold my breath during CTs to reduce the amount of radiation I was exposed to. On the last day of a CL but in college I asked another guy out that I was only 70% sure was gay. My professor overheard and said to the guy when he turned his final paper in. Did he just ask you out? Question mark. That takes balls. 
had passionate sex with someone out of my league. That's literally what's gonna happen with me in like a week or two we're still trying to find a good time. Enjoy mate. 1. Did a study abroad for 6 months in college. Before then. I'd never even been out of the country. Learned to read a train timetable and planned a trip to 3 countries. In 5 days. 2. Buried a parent. 3. Had my writing published. 4. Done stand up comedy in front of a crowd. 5. Looked eye to eye with someone who murdered their spouse. My coworker. 6. Remarried in my 40s to a co-worker I'd been in love with 4 years. 7. Had a one night stand with someone I picked up in a bar. 8. Befriended and had a meal with someone who went on to become a celebrity you've heard of. 9. Finished writing a novel for National Novel Writing Month. 10. Bought a house. Rereading the above. I've lived a lot more life than I ever thought I would. I'm a science guy, and I shot down a shitload of very high paid lawyers with facts and hubris. It was me versus. 12. They brought a load to intimidate me. I knew that. I had no backing. Thank you. Boss. I can still see the table. The science was behind me. These guys wanted to bargain. And I wasn't buying. I won. Total job cost was over 20 million. I fucked an Australian girl with cocoa butter in Tokyo during a deployment. Bungee jump. Skydived. Both while afraid of heights. Recuperate pretty well from a B. Traumatic brain injury. From which I wasn't supposed to survive. I stopped a robbery at a McDonald's once. And arrested the guy. The whole story is. When I was at home for some reason I had this strong feeling there was going to be a robbery at a McDonald's. I went there and waited for a while until I heard the cashier scream and I saw a man walking away with a stack of 20s in his hand. I got up and kicked him in the chest. Then I grabbed him while he tried to get out. We struggled outside and eventually I jumped on his back and took him down. I then held him there for a while until a police officer came. Fucked Amber Heard. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.